Thank you, Dr. Carlos. At this time, I'd like to introduce another member from New York. His name is James Kelly, and he's going to be speaking about some issues. Um, very briefly, he's, you know, he doesn't want to be up here speaking you know, for a long time, but he will speak and you know, address his concerns as well as what's going on with the system. So at this time, James Kelly. Thank you very much, Brian Lee. Thank you, everybody, for being here. My name is Jim Kelly, and uh, activism is new to me, but research is not. And this has been an issue that's been near and dear to my heart, and I stand with anybody that stands for the best interests of the children. And I mean truly stands for the best interests of the children. And as I listen to what, uh, what I hear all of you say, what I've experienced myself, I find that those best interests are not being served. And I've struggled to understand exactly why those best interests are not being served. And I'm, I'm led to my thoughts back to the early 1970s. In the early 1970s, with respect to the Watergate trials, the mantra was, follow the money. Well, I think that's what needs to happen here. And one of the things that, uh, that I've recognized in following the money is that it ends, or following the money ends at uh, Title IV funding. And one of the interesting things, as somebody who has researched in great detail from a perspective of psychoneuroendocrinology, is that there is no study done, especially no landmark study done, with respect to Title IV-D being in the best interest of the children. And one of the key things here that I'm realizing is pretty straightforward, stress kills. That's something everybody realizes. But when you look at it, at the science behind it and how it happens, not only are the courts that do not minimize the damage from the, uh, to the children from the perspective of the Adverse Childhood Experiences study done in 1998 by Kaiser Permanente, uh, funded by the CDC, but uh, if they do not minimize those damages, not only are they contributing to the emotional and psychological abuse of the children, but by raising the cortisol levels, the hormones within those children affected, they're doing physical abuse to the region of the brain known as the hippocampus by shrinking it volumetrically and causing later issues in life as defined in the ACE study. There's a study that was published recently and made the news just last week, Deaths of Despair. Well, I think it would be a very interesting experience to compare the Title IV funding and the correlation for the Title IV funding to those deaths of despair. There's a landmark 1905 a Supreme Court decision, Jacobson versus the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Now, what they found was, with respect to vaccines, that it's for the greater good. Title IV is recognized as being for the greater good, and those people that speak out against it, well, they're the minority. There are certainly vaccine injuries. Problem is, there's no study done to back that up. And I think that from a neuro, psychoneuroendocrinological perspective, there ought to be. And I think that profession in particular needs to take a more active approach to supporting that. So I thank you very much and continue supporting the best interest of the children.